hey my loves welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much you guys for tuning in i really really appreciate your support so in today's video we're gonna be having a chit chat you know i am doing a mukbang you know a kfc mukbang <laughs> i ordered this online i haven't opened it as you already saw so we're gonna open it together and just have a chit chat sit down video it's been long since i did this video like since i did this kind of videos or since i did a sit down video so today we're gonna be talking about how life has been for the past three years of living in germany and also going back home like visiting home after three years so with that being said let's get started oh i love this one I am so hungry. We just gonna dig in. I'm gonna be drinking some water. Lately, I've been drinking a lot, a lot of water. I don't know why, but I've been drinking a lot. I usually drink juice because I really like juice, but lately, hmm, it has been only water. Okay, let me eat a bit. okay <laughs> i really had to take a bite and not just a bite two two of them but i don't know you guys when you see me looking on the side i'll be trying to control if my camera is still focusing So you guys let's talk about things that happen after moving abroad yeah this is very important you guys because some of us were really struggling the past three years living in germany it has been like this up and down up and down up and down so the first thing we're gonna talk about is being homesick being homesick does not necessarily have anything to do with home i feel like it's a form of anxiety and depression that develops when someone is placed out of their comfort zone like being in germany you literally placed out of your comfort zone it's it's a country that you excuse me it's a country that you're not even used to the language is completely different it's not something that you can imagine imagine the anxiety in that in not knowing the language in having to learn or to do your apprenticeship or to study with the language how difficult is that like some people they actually do make fun of you in class for example not knowing how difficult it is to study with a, a foreign language it's something that you can't compare so i feel like homesickness yeah of course it's you missing home but it's not only that i feel like it goes deep to what i just said it's just an emotional distress when you're away from home you start having a lot of thoughts by yourself you start having anxiety something that you never thought you would have you start having a lot of fear sometimes you're motivated sometimes you're not even motivated to do anything you feel like giving up so that is what comes with being homesick honestly you feel like you want to go back home but when you think about the situation back at home you're also not ready to go back and live that life again so it's really difficult it's really not easy being homesick the next thing that i want to talk about is my experience visiting home after three years obviously i want to start with the positive you know 
I was happy to see my family after three years. Can you just think about it? Take a moment and think about it. You're away for three good years. Thank God the technology is now better. We can video call, you know. It's not like, it's not the same, but it's better than nothing, I think. So it was really the best feeling ever after seeing my family after so many years of not seeing them it was really emotional one thing about me i'm gonna cry and one thing about me i think crying helps everything helps with everything that's why i always cry but it was really nice seeing my family seeing my mom seeing my dad seeing my young brother it was really nice seeing my aunties seeing my nieces Seeing my cousin, seeing my grandma, just, you know, being around my grandma. I was not doing anything. My mom would be like, hey, just sit down. I'm going to do everything. <laughs> my grandma, ah, it was such a beautiful time. Honestly, I would like to do it over and over again. It was really beautiful mm, seeing my dad. <laughs> I really was happy to be home. The food, the food was really nice. I, I really ate everything, not everything, but most of the things that I was craving, I really did eat. And yeah, I, the the the. The f seeing my family was the best thing having to eat all the food was also the best thing seeing my friends yeah i'm really sorry you guys if you're seeing my ah uh, not if you're actually seeing my ring light uh maybe it annoys you i'm really sorry i don't know let me sit up straight <laughs> but yeah let's now move to the negatives or disappointing things maybe i can say it like that mm. The situation in Zim is really bad. You know, you hear your family saying, it's bad this side. We're really struggling. The economy is bad. Uh, and or you hear friends or your little brother or, or your siblings and you think, ah, okay, I don't know. Sometimes it's really not easy to believe like that. But yeah, it's really bad. The economy is bad. I wanna just, I wanna give you a tip when you want to visit home, when you're going home to Zim, at least have some cash. At least have some cash because you need the cash. I am telling you, you definitely need the cash. Have some, have some cash, have enough cash. You really don't want to be struggling or at least for me i really don't want to be struggling i also don't want to be asking money from my parents you know i'm grown <laughs> so yeah things are expensive i mean here things are expensive in germany too but in zim things are expensive it's because they use three currencies they use us dollar they use south african rand they use zimbabwean dollar which is i really don't know how to describe it but yeah because of that you go to the supermarket you pay with us dollar they change you it's either rand or they change you with the zimbabwean dollar which confuses the hell out of me literally i was really confused you know so i i only went once alone <laughs> to the city the rest of the times i was going with my mom or i was going, I was going with my young brother because i was really confused oh the, you guys don't don't be surprised when i'm touching when you see my hands moving i'm actually having a warm water bottle because i'm feeling cold you know we're doing this for the youtube that's why <laughs> i'll be wearing something with sleeves right now but but anyway yeah the economy is very bad things are expensive like when you hear people telling you how expensive 
is like believe them believe them things in zima expensive another thing that was disappointing for me no that was not disappointing i was kind of surprised you know in zim were very cultural people i was actually very shocked when i went to zim i brought my crop tops my lowest jeans my biker shorts you know of course i wasn't wearing the biker shirt alone with the crop top i was putting a shirt on top but still you know i was getting the comments from from the hood <laughs> from the hood guys so i was getting com nasty comments you know i really don't want to say it right now on the camera it was really disgusting the way they will say it you know they will have that i feel like they have the feeling that you're naked so yeah i ended up changing the way i was dressing i had to dress with i uh, had to wear some jeans and maybe a proper top when i wear a crop top with the jean maybe i put a shirt on top so yeah i mean they're still holding on to that you have to cover up oh my god it's 2022 just loosen up please how are my lips let me check any more lip gloss i need some lip gloss i don't know i really like to put to rejuvenate my lips now i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself <laughs> so another thing um when i was at home i actually started to realize that i really don't want to go back at home you know at this moment like at this moment i really don't want to go back home if someone comes to me and say do you want to go back to zim right now with the situation that is going on in zim i don't want to go back now and that's when it clicked to me that actually i feel like abroad is now my new home even though it's a very uncomfortable country i feel like it's now my new home and that means my family is getting older without me being there without me supporting them you know physically you know i just started realizing that i'm actually no longer used to it anymore like what's happening in zim i am um, i'm just no longer used to not having electricity for two days i'm not used to not having water for four days i am not used to a lot of things i'm not used to i'm not saying germany is perfect it's definitely not it's a very depressing country i don't want to lie if i had to choose if zim will be perfect right now not even perfect if the economy changes i would definitely like to move back home because that's home but at the same time right now i feel like abroad is my new home because i don't want to go back like i no longer want to go back home at this point because of the current situation in zim it's just really sad when you think about it it's really sad and now let's continue about how life has been for me the past three years you know of living in germany uh, we're gonna talk about depression and anxiety when i moved here i knew nothing about mental health illness like he was like ah it was a makiwa ah vazenzi salaba literally i don't know if i was ignorant or um, i didn't have so much information like i didn't i, I really don't know what was going on but i always I never thought I will, I will actually understand depression and anxiety the way I understand it now. I feel like for me, I do have anxiety. No one has ever diagnosed me that I have anxiety, but I did diagnose myself because I feel like I do have signs of anxiety. With depression, I don't know, uh, but I know some people, you know, that fell in. To depression after moving to germany you know what pushes you or what makes you fall into that is the language 
and also being homesick as i already said before it's not just missing home it's a lot so school let's talk about school let's say you're the only black girl in class who doesn't even speak perfect german who is still trying yet people make you look like stupid and those little group works that they give us at school those little presentations that's when i start feeling that's when i start feeling like i can't do this anymore i don't want to do this because first my language sucks i try by all means but it sucks and you get classmates that are not friendly to you it's even worse let's talk about racism in germany i've actually never experienced that thank god it's those little things when you're sitting like in the train i really don't know if i'm if i'm right but at least that's how i feel i'm very open with my own opinions that's why i'm gonna say it it's those little things when you're sitting in the train literally the train has four seats you know and you're sitting there three seats are free like there's no one sitting there and you see people coming in checking checking the next seat on the other side is full other seats are full and only the three seats in front of you and next to you are free no one can come and sit next to you or no one is gonna come and sit next to you or when someone is sitting somewhere and you go you want to sit next to them not necessarily very close to them but you want to sit you want to sit so you go sit next to them you see them taking their um, their handbag and then pushing it slowly to themselves like it's those little things like what do you think am i gonna snatch your bag or what another example is when you are at the supermarket you know there are people in front of you of course they are not black and the cashier greets them all and when you come no greeting at all the only thing you hear is the price of the groceries that you bought at first it literally bothered me a lot like why are you not greeting me i mean you work with people for god's sake then you have to be friendly but at some point i just accepted it like i got used to it that okay i'm not gonna be greeted i'm just gonna be told the um, the price of the grocery so it's those little things these little things that i just mentioned now i always experience that always but this one where someone directly say something to me no i've actually never experienced that thank god but it's those little things that i just said i always experienced that but i got used to it and i just don't care anymore another thing i uh, i started appreciating taking walks you know in zim you never heard me saying ah gok nsa walk oh mom i'm going to take a walk you know but in germany you will appreciate taking walks at the park or just taking a walk because this <laughs> this country is difficult another thing i have actually realized how weather can be an influence to your mood in germany it's always cold okay it's not always cold for me it's cold as from end of september it's really cold and september end of september october november november that's when it gets a really really cold december january february it's hectic so yeah end of september until the next coming year um is it april i think may so i for me i just feel like it's just eight months straight cold as from i can say october until the next coming year may it will be cold so of course um as from april to may it's a bit cold it's not like you can go outside without a small jacket but the weather is still a bit cold so 
the weather can actually influence your mood when it's cold some people they actually feel very depressed they fall into depression some of us we are very moody it's something that i actually realized the past three years that in the winter i'm actually very moody i snap very fast <laughs> even if it's something that doesn't make sense it still annoys me a little bit so the weather can be an influence you see people are very annoyed or people are just moody or people are just grumpy in winter you know because you hardly see the sun you literally hardly see the sun it's just covered with clouds the only thing you see is the snow of course in december the mood is a bit light hand because they really try to decorate like to decorate these christmas markets they decorate very nice so the mood will be a bit light hand because when you go outside you know it's really beautiful and yeah after that time after christmas we go back to hell but yeah so those are the little things of how life has been the past three years of living in germany and also visiting home after those three years of course i didn't share a lot of it because some things are very personal and i wouldn't want to share them yet on the internet you know maybe some time <laughs> You know some things you just have to keep them to yourself and yeah i think we have come to the end of this video i know i spoke a lot and i didn't eat much i cannot multitask when i'm eating i just want to eat and when i'm speaking i just want to speak but yeah that's it for today's video you guys thank you so much for sticking by my side i really appreciate your support always we are almost to 1k <laughs> we are almost to 1k subscribers i really can't believe i am so happy thank you to each and every one of you who subscribed to my channel and keep on supporting me it's really cute of you <laughs> but yeah i will see you guys on my next video bye